the health of the River Murray in South Australia has been deteriorating for many decades. Before people changed the natural flow of the river, the natural raising and lowering of water levels helped to keep the river healthy. Today we use weirs to improve the health and biodiversity of the river by imitating those natural fluctuations. This is called weir pool manipulation. With effective weir pool manipulation, we can improve biodiversity and support a healthy working river Murray for generations to come. The River Murray is part of the 3,750 kilometre long Murray-Darling Basin. At 2,508 kilometres, the Murray is Australia's longest river. It flows from the Australian Alps all the way to South Australia. As the river crosses the border, it meanders through the riverland. It feeds the towns of Renmark, Loxton and Wakery, before turning at Morgan for its final 315 kilometres to the Murray Mouth, passing Blanchetown, Swan Reach, Manham and Murray Bridge. In the early 1900s, six locks and weirs were built between the border and the lower lakes. This created a series of stable pool levels between the weirs. Prior to river regulation, the extensive floodplains that run alongside the river would inundate with water during floods and dry up during the summer. The stable water levels were of great benefit to irrigation, shipping navigation and a year-round steady supply of water. However, the reduced variation in water levels resulted in disconnection of wetlands and floodplains from the channel, and this has significantly impacted the health and resilience of the river. The Riverland includes a network of backwaters, lagoons and wetlands that are home to an abundant amount of wildlife. The region includes a UNESCO-listed bookmark biosphere reserve and 40 national and conservation parks. Weirpool 5 alone includes the Pike floodplain, Lakes Wulpalul and Moretti, part of the Chowla floodplain and the important Riverland Ramsar site. Lock 5 near Renmark was built in 1927. It has a normal upper pool level of 16.3 metres above sea level. The difference between the upper and lower pool levels is approximately 3 metres. The lock on the right allows vessels to move through the weir by manipulating the water level inside the lock. The fishway on the left is a recent construction that helps fish move upstream past the weir. This helps to maintain a diverse breeding stock of fish in each weir pool and it stops the segmentation of habitat that would otherwise lead to reduced fish numbers. In the past, lockmasters have placed stop logs in and out of the weir to keep the water level stable. Today we use this same process to allow the river to fluctuate. This helps maintain a more natural and healthy river. For this particular weir, the water level can be raised 50 centimetres. This varies at every weir, with the maximum being 1.14 metres at lock 4. As the water level backs up behind the weir, water flows into low-lying wetlands and floodplains, connecting them back to the river. With a weir pool raising of 50 centimetres and moderate flows of 10,000 megalitres per day, a weir pool 5 raising can inundate almost 1,000 hectares of vegetation and wetlands. The ecosystem of the river benefits significantly from the periodic connection of anabranch systems. The diversity of native fish and birds improves as habitat and food resources increase. To mimic a dry period, we draw water out of the wetlands and floodplains by pulling stop logs out of the weir. As the logs are removed, the water level behind the weir drops. This is called weir pool lowering. As the water level drops and drains back into the river, floodplains and wetlands start to dry. The mud flats on the banks of the channel become exposed. 
the same volume of water will pass through the narrower channel and may result in faster flows. Before the weir existed, this would have happened almost every summer. But until recently, the weir has been used to stop it happening at all. Now, with a better understanding of river ecology and natural cues, we are using that same weir to improve river health in a planned and sustainable way. During a weir pool lowering, when the mud flats of the river banks are exposed, plants germinate in the bare soil. Shore birds are attracted to the area where they forage for food, and spawning of large bodied fish, such as the Murray cod, may be bolstered by faster flowing water. Once the water level is raised again, the new vegetation is inundated. This releases nutrients that drive the food web. Fish numbers increase, and the ecosystem of the river thrives. The River Murray supports the livelihoods of every South Australian. And we need to support the river so it can continue to support us. We can't go back in time to before the river was regulated. But we can use existing infrastructure and weir pool manipulation to improve the health of the river. By allowing the river to fluctuate in a controlled way that imitates natural processes, we can improve biodiversity and habitat to support a healthy, working River Murray for many generations to come. <laughs>